All right, I have a large scene I've been working on. Turn everything on here. All right, here's the scene I'm working on. It's very large. I did use a lot of instances in the buildings, but in the end, there's still a lot of detail. So what I'm gonna do is I have um, the scene optimizer. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna optimize the scene and I'll show you. I'm just going to reduce uh, texture map size. I'm not gonna go through and and change any of the object meshes or anything like that to make them smaller. So what I'm gonna do is it's called Broken World. So I'm gonna save as same name, but I'm just gonna change it to optimize before I do anything. That way I can go back to my Broken World saved file if I if anything goes wrong. It has a lot of stuff going on. So we're gonna go into our content library. So I, I'm gonna go right to the uh, scene optimizer. This allows me to save my current texture maps, which I just saved it. I just saved it as, you know, the optimized file name. So I'm not going to save, do a separate step and save the maps because I can always just go back, go back to the scene set right where I'm at. And there's, I can restore the texture maps. And then this, oh, that's just on a particular selection. This one here restores textures maps on all of them. So I'm just gonna go right into scene optimizer. It's gotta go through and read all my texture maps. There's quite a lot of them. All right, here we go. So let's open up this window. All right, so how much do I wanna divide it for? I can divide it in half, quarter, eighth, or even a sixteenth. And my current default folder is just the one that was set up in the installation. And I can change the folder. So what it has is showing me the largest map size. So I'm not going to do anything under so these size here. I'm not going to cut in half. They're already nice and small. And I'll make them a thousand. All right, so there we go. I don't have any lie maps, and I don't have anything existing. So all I'm going to do is just set lower resolution. It's going to run through every map that's that it has a check mark, and reduce the size by half. Then when it's done, I'm going to save and then close everything down and then reopen and there's 61 maps oh, i'm sorry 61 objects and then each one has could have multiple maps for example z world broken road overpass has 28 materials alone and looking on the list right here like genesis eyelashes don't need to be 4096 in size that's just humongous especially for a distance shot like this All right, so it says it's finished. As long as I didn't cancel the process. So I have to restart Dad's Studio after saving the scene. If I want to take uh, the full benefit of the gain in memory. So let's hit OK, and I'll show the mess resolutions. So basically, it's just the female character I have. I have the void suit. And right now it's the subdivision level is 111 and I could drop her down to a the estimated face but it's it's not too bad I'm just gonna leave I usually don't even mess with this and then instances I do have a lot of instances only in the viewport for the preview or totally mean both in the viewport and the render also allows me to swap between the render set and memory optimization speed or memory so I do have quite a few instances in here but I want to leave mine because they're part they're a lot of the buildings and I just want to 
see them in the scene when I uh, even test render. And I have them grouped, and then I, I just turn on and off the groups when I go to do render and test certain areas. So I'm just going to leave instances alone. <laughs> so now, now my eye ray, I can set to memory or speed. I usually leave that alone too. Because I manually change my my settings in the in the render tab already, so I don't really mess with those too much. And that's pretty much it on this. I can show you some more of the settings that I don't really use. Um, I can remove bump maps from any of them. Normal. I can remove the displacement maps, which really do add uh, to a lot of the memory. The only stuff I have this on is the character in the foreground. I kind of want to leave that. Alright, so pretty much all I have to do is just shut down. And then I already resaved my file as this, so now all I really have to do is just click save. Right, everything's good. I'm going to shut it down. Scene optimizer page in my product library. So there it is right there. Very useful tool with big scenes. So there's my most recent with get this going. Alright, here's the scene. And the reason why I ran it is I'm now working on lighting just her and I'm working one light at a time and it was just taking a while to render and I, I have everything grouped and even turned off. But let's see how how it works, see how, see how fast it renders. I still have atmosphere turned off right here. There we go. See, the geometry memory conception was a little over 500, which I didn't touch. Memory is about cut in half from previously before I ran optimization. It was about 1151. There we go. Yeah, it rendered uh, very quickly. Nice. All right, thanks for watching sure to see my other videos. I'm going to have a long series on the creation of this set here.